one of the most important things when it comes to a small workshop production system is easy batching out of projects and of that the keystone is a really good template Hey everybody, my name is Sam and welcome back to SamCraft. In today's video, I'm gonna be using the CNC to make a template for the laser engraver. Yep, one robot makes parts for another. I have been diving into the world of laser engraving ever since I got my laser engraver about, well, less than a week ago. It's been on like bing bong. One of the things I've quickly come to realize that I need is a template designed for the laser so that I may center objects and replicate and burn them precisely over and over and over to streamline my process and allow me to batch out products. Currently I'm working in the world of laser engraved coasters and I have a lot of these four inch ceramic discs that I have been prepping all batch processes and I'm ready to start burning some designs on them and really churning in some inventory or churning out inventory, creating inventory, stocking the shelves. The benefit of a circular device as far as setting your origin is I can make my origin point on my design dead center and then center my laser on the disc or the object and we're good to go. I know it's perfectly centered, I'm not having any issues and it's going to turn out the best in the end. I started off by using a center finder from my lathe to take a pencil and mark crosshairs on these discs and then line that up manually underneath my laser and that worked fine as far as finding the origin and lining it up. The problem with that is that I found that the pencil line on certain finishes or certain materials actually got engraved or burned through and into the object which ruined it. That was a bummer. So that led me down the road of, okay, I gotta come up with a template. I need to build something so that I don't have to physically mar my products. I can drop, laser, and get them out and repeat. Since I have a CNC router in my shop, I decided, you know what? Let's put that machine to use. So I used it to design and cut my template. Starting over in my design software, which is Carveco Maker, I ended up with a scrap piece of Baltic Birch plywood that I measured, loaded into my model, and began tinkering from there. It was pretty basic to do a circle the size of my coaster, make a pocket, and then add some crosshairs in the middle to V-carve it out. My thoughts behind that is that I can line that up with the laser itself and then just plop and drop coasters, good to go. And I don't need to lock myself into a set origin on the machine or really worry about having to line things further. If the crosshairs are centered within the jig and centered within that pocket of the circle, it all should work out fine. To make things a little fancy, I decided to add some text to tell me exactly what this template was and to remind myself in the future what the origin point is for this template as well. Not that I would probably think it would be something different but hey why not now that the design work is done in Carveco I've saved it to my network attached storage device which is basically a hard drive that sits within my home network and allows me to edit on my computer save the files here and then open them on my fusion 5 tablet which is what runs my CNC it's a nice middleman it keeps me from moving flash drives around and works for me because well I already had the hard drive
dang things don't fit, do they? Friggin'. Well, we got ourselves a little bit of a discrepancy in measurements, don't we? <laughs> So let me go back into CarveCo and see if I can fix this template. I'm going to try doing something that probably won't work exactly. I'm just going to try enlarging the circle and then recutting it with the same template and not redo everything. So let's see how that works out. All right, we have the fixed template uh, version 1.1, 1.2. The problem with this is that it is too deep. The coasters are less than flush, meaning it's a nightmare to get out unless you flip it upside down. And at that point, if you move this, you got to redo your origin on your laser. So I don't like that. I uh, also do not like, well, you can't hear it, but there is slop in this. It is not going to be dead center all the time. There is quite a bit of profile and gap, and I just don't like that. That one's trash. Let's find another scrap piece of wood, measure it because I'm sure it's not gonna be the same size, redesign everything in CarveCo, maybe add a few little features and hey, version 2.0 upgrades and let's carve it out and hopefully that one will work. Oh yes, I like it. So what I did differently with this one is not only enlarge the circle, just the right amount for the particular coasters I'm using, just so you know. I ended up going with a 4.15 inch diameter pocket. I also decided to give this thing a little step down. If you'll notice, there is a ring around the edge of the inside of the circle, and then it drops down further for the deeper pocket, and then even further for the crosshairs to line everything up the deeper inside part of the pocket will allow any kind of debris to collect and not mess with me as I'm doing products or you know aligning things so that's cool it's not necessarily needed or required but hey features of version 2.0 I like the crosshairs in here it went a little bit deeper than I wanted but it's still perfectly fine I can still center the laser right there on the middle and that's perfect and then the lettering, of course, well, there's nothing special to say about that because it's just letters and looks the same. So we have our coaster here. And it is a nice snug fit. It is not too deep, so it allows me to easily pick this up and not move my template at all, which is vital. Otherwise, what's the point of making a template if you got to recenter everything all the time? And overall, I think it's great. Thanks and thoughts aside, let's actually put this on the laser engraver and do some stuff with it and show that the template that I think is so awesome really is awesome. Looks good to me. Cool. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and rehome the machine just to get it out of the way. Plop the coaster in there and let's go ahead and make something.
there you go. That's pretty awesome. The template is working exactly as I hoped. It is so cool to be able to pull out the finished one, plop in a new one, press run, and let it do its thing. I know it's aligned, it works great, and it really just helps streamline things so I can batch produce things a lot faster, a lot quicker, and just a lot more efficiently. The total runtime to make this particular coaster was 12 minutes real time. I have dialed in my settings according to the material and the laser. That is something that I'll go over in a future video if you're interested, but 12 minutes, not too bad. Spoiler alert, I didn't do anything different from what other people are doing as far as running a tile test. It's basically where you run it through at certain intervals of laser speed and machine speed, or laser power and machine speed, and find the sweet spot. If you are interested in getting this template, I will have both the file for CarveCo, if you have a wood CNC, listed down below. And then if you are in the boat where you have a laser engraver, but you don't have a CNC and you would like to have one of these templates, I'll have a link to that as well for the actual physical template if you want me to make you one so that you're not left out of the party for having cool templates for four inch round devices, most commonly coasters. Do you guys have any questions or comments? Leave them for me down below. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time in the workshop.